CIA director warns Pakistan and Pakistan arrests CIA informants. Pakistan's top military spy agency has arrested some of the Pakistani informants who fed information to the Central Intelligence Agency in the months leading up to the raid that led to the death of Osama bin Laden, according to American officials. Pakistan's detention of five CIA informants, including a Pakistani army major, who officials said copied the license plates of cars visiting bin Laden's compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, in the weeks before the raid, is the latest evidence of the fractured relationship between the United States and Pakistan. It comes at a time when the Obama administration is seeking Pakistan's support in brokering an endgame in the war in neighboring Afghanistan. At a closed briefing, members of the Senate Intelligence Committee asked Michael J. Morrill, the Deputy CIA Director, to rate Pakistan's cooperation with the United States on counter-terrorism operations on a scale of 1 to 10. 3. Mr. Morrill replied, according to officials familiar with the exchange. The fate of the CIA informants arrested in Pakistan is unclear, but American officials said that CIA Director Leon E. Panetta has raised the issue when he traveled to Islamabad last week to meet with Pakistani military and intelligence officers. And Leon E. Panetta, the director of the Central Intelligence Agency, confronted Pakistani intelligence officials face to face with what the United States believes is evidence of collusion between Pakistani security officials and militants staging attacks in Afghanistan during an unannounced trip to Pakistan's capital last week, Mr. Panetta met with the leader of the Pakistani Intelligence Service, Lieutenant General Pasha, and showed him satellite photographs and other evidence of what the CIA believes to be two faculties for the manufacture of bombs used by militants based in Pakistan against American forces in Afghanistan. The bomb-making faculties were in the northwestern districts of North and South Waziristan, both havens for militants. Mr. Panetta was compelled to confront General Pasha after the CIA alerted the Pakistanis about the existence of the bomb-making faculties several weeks ago and asked them to raid the locations. But when the Pakistani army showed up, the militants were gone, making the CIA suspicious the militants had warning from someone on the Pakistani side, which is very likely. The targets seem to have been tipped off, an American official said, adding, there are indications that some senior Pakistani officials aren't happy about it, and neither are we, of course. A senior Pakistani official said that at first there was no reason for Pakistan to be suspicious that the bomb makers had disappeared. Extremist groups often move locations, the official said. But, the official added, now that the U.S. side has drawn our attention to the possibility of the Taliban being tipped off between the day the intelligence was shared and the day of our military action, we will work on finding out what happened. Or so they say. Mr. Panetta's meeting with General Pasha and the theory that there's a tip-off about the bomb-making faculties first reported by ABC News and the Washington Post. Tensions between the United States and Pakistan have worsened since the American military raid that killed Osama bin Laden near the Pakistani capital last month. American officials say they have uncovered no evidence that anyone in Pakistan's senior leadership knew about bin Laden's hiding place, although the departing defense secretary Robert M. Gates said recently that he thought somebody in Pakistan knew, which is also very likely. American officials did not tell Pakistan about the raid until afterward. American intelligence and military officials have long said that elements of Pakistan's intelligence service have close links to Pakistani insurgents and the Pakistani Taliban. 
American officials say Pakistan supports the insurgents as a proxy force in Afghanistan, preparing for influence after American soldiers leave. Mr. Panetta, who is due to replace Mr. Gates as Defense Secretary on July 1st, said during his confirmation hearing last week that Pakistan, an important American ally, also remained a serious problem. He told the Senate Armed Services Committee that the relationship with Pakistan was one of the most critical and yet one of the most complicated and frustrating relationships that we have. Mr. Panetta added that Pakistan's nuclear weapons remained a concern because of the danger that those nukes could wind up in the wrong hands. Again, Mr. Panetta added that Pakistan's nuclear weapons remained a concern because of the danger that those nukes could wind up in the wrong hands. So, in conclusion, what will happen then? And that should be a very important question. Because this too is another sign of the times, the end times, transition days, which is a continuing day-by-day process of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events. This is also another physical manifestation of the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 16 verse 8 And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch humans with fire. 9 And humans were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which has power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. 10. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom, or nation, was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. 11. And blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings or leaders of the east might be prepared. 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. 14. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings and leaders of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. 16. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Yes, the limits of the tipping points are being reached. Everything that must change, must change quickly or rapidly, and for the better, because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations. Everything is connected, and everything is numbered. It's also called fate or destiny. The fourth angel comes quickly 